food heals. Yes, food can be a medicine if consumed in the right way. There is a very famous quote in traditional sciences which says, kitchen is your pharmacy. Eating healthy means not only choosing the right food, but also the right way you eat. For example, we peel our fruits and vegetables before eating them. Do you know that when we do this, we throw out the nutrients as well? Have you noticed that sometimes you get sick for no reason, even if your diet is perfect and you're eating everything that is nutritious? Why do you think that happens? The reason is the way we eat. All foods are loaded with nutrients, but they get lost when they are cooked in the wrong way or when we eat the food at the wrong time or with the wrong combination. Today, I'm going to tell you about the foods that are the healthiest when you eat them the right way. Number one is tomatoes. We often eat them in salads, but did you know that cooked tomatoes give us four times more lycopene? Lycopene has been found to promote good oral health, bone health and blood pressure. Studies have also found a connection between lycopene intake and cancer prevention. Lycopene is a powerful antioxidant with many health benefits, including sun protection, improved heart and a lower risk of certain types of cancer. Yes, that's true. So eat your tomatoes, but remember they are more beneficial to health when cooked. Number two is cucumber. It's the one vegetable we all love in our salads because of its cooling nature. But did you know that consuming it after sunset is harmful as the water present in the cucumber increases the vata and the kapha in the body? This liquefies the digestive fire and causes indigestion. So avoid having cucumbers after sunset. Number three is curds. Curd or yogurt is delicious when eaten with sugar, but it is very difficult to digest. It is better to avoid having curd, especially at night, as it has the tendency to get stuck in the inner body channels and blocks the secretions. Curd promotes kapha that causes heaviness too. So think about it before you have it. Number four is banana. Many of us eat a banana at bedtime, thinking that it helps with digestion and relieves constipation because of the fiber in it. This is true. Bananas are a very good source of fiber, but while it is helpful initially, the starch and potash in the bananas needs the liver and kidneys to work harder to digest and secrete it. This doesn't mean that you should avoid eating bananas altogether. Just eat them at the right time. The best time for a banana is the morning or as a 4 p.m. snack as it gives instant energy and fullness. Number five is oranges. One of the commonest fruits consumed for breakfast as juice or whole. Some people have oranges with bread or cornflakes and if you are one of them, then please stop. First reason for this is the combination itself is wrong and of course the timing. We all know that orange is loaded with vitamin C, which is very important for building immunity. But consuming it at a wrong time causes more harm than good. Instead of boosting immunity, the citric acid present in it causes acidity when consumed on an empty stomach, that is at breakfast. It's better to have it at noon or before 4 p.m. when the digestive fire is at its peak and can digest anything. The combination of orange with bread or cereals is incompatible according to Ayurveda. Did you know that orange peels contain beneficial nutrients? So the next time you eat an orange, don't discard off the peel. Instead, grate and store it to use with salads or soak it in water and make a detox drink. Number six, onion and garlic. Never put them into processing immediately after cutting because the cancer-fighting compound gets active only after the cells break down a little. Number seven is pineapple. Do you usually throw away the core of the pineapple? The next time, please don't because that is the nucleus of the nutrients it contains. Eat the whole pineapple from now on. Number eight is cauliflower. How do you eat a cauliflower? Do you eat only the florets and throw away the stem? Well, sorry to tell you that you've been doing it all wrong. The stem is the main source of fiber, vitamin C and calcium. You must eat them along with the florets to get all the nutrients that this vegetable has to offer. Number nine is salad. We all think that salads are the best for everything, right from having it as a starter to dieting for weight loss. But did you know the right way of eating vegetables? 
Raw vegetables are very hard to digest, so it is always better to boil them with a pinch of salt or stir fry them to make it easier for the digestive system. People with low digestion powers should avoid overloading vegetables and eat them in a moderate quantity in the daytime only. It's best to avoid raw vegetables for dinner. Instead, you could have it in a soup form. Number 10 is nuts. Nuts are very good for health and you must have them. But the best way to have them is after soaking overnight. The skin prevents the absorption of nutrients and soaking them overnight and peeling them before eating helps you not only gain all the nutrients but also makes it easier to digest. Number 11 is potatoes. They are best consumed for breakfast or lunch. Avoid them at dinner because as a source of carbohydrates, it takes more time to get digested and may make you feel heavy and uncomfortable when eaten at night. Number 12 is sprouts. In Mumbai, Mr. Pao sprouted moong dal curry with bread is a common snack. In other places too, sprouts are boiled a little before eating them with chopped vegetables as breakfast or as a snack. But did you know that you are compromising on the nutritional value of sprouts when you cook them? Sprouts contain a lot of protein and the benefits are lost when they are cooked. Add some finely chopped onions, salt, lemon juice and pepper to a bowl of sprouts to make it easy while enjoying the richness of the nutrients it has to offer. Number 13 are Frankie's or Carti Rolls or Burritos. While these are time savers in the sense you think you are getting everything you need in a single roll, these are absolute no-nos in Ayurveda. To make these, we use grated vegetables like carrots, cabbage and capsicum on baked bread or roti or tortilla. By doing this, you are combining two incompatible foods, cooked roti, tortilla and raw vegetables together. Each has different digestive time and eating them together slows down the digestion. This indigested food remains partially digested and can cause improper absorption of nutrients. So it is best to stir fry the veggies and prepare your dishes. Stir frying is a good way to retain the nutrients of vegetables and also makes the food lighter for digestion. Number 14 is herbal juice. Consuming herbal juices made of raw vegetables and greens is good for health. It is important to know how long to have these. Drinking green tea to lose weight, drinking cucumber water to detox, or drinking any other kashaya or concoctions to boost immunity, relief constipations are all good, but they all have a time limit. While these are wonderful remedies and supplements, they are only beneficial when you take them in the right way. Never ever have these for long periods of time. Have them for a maximum of 45 days at one time only. Continuing with these practices for longer periods harms your absorption quality and disturbs the normal functioning of the organs. Number 15 is calcium and iron supplements. We know how important iron and calcium are for the body and never forget to take up pills for them. Did you know that you have to take breaks of one to two months in between? Having them continuously for long periods disturbs the normal functioning of your organs. So consult with your doctor before mindlessly continuing them for years together. No matter how low you are on your nutrients, it is advisable to take supplements for a maximum of six months only. You can continue it after a break of one or two months if necessary. Number 16 is rice. In Asia, rice is a staple food and many of us relish the myriad ways in which it is cooked. Most people use a pressure cooker to cook rice, but did you know that cooking rice like this makes it heavier for digestion? As per Ayurveda, anything that comes in contact with the fire makes it lighter for digestion. But when we cook it in a pressure cooker, the steam falls into the rice again and makes it heavier for digestion. It is best to cook rice in the open vessel with thrice the amount of water as the rice and strain the excess water or starch after cooking. Number 17 is cutting carrots. Cutting and grating carrots destroys the nutrients. Boiling them increases the amounts of beta carotene, so it is best to lightly boil carrots before consuming them. Number 18 is chopped vegetables. 
Are you one of those who refrigerates chopped vegetables for convenience to consume at a later time? Well, refrigeration takes away the nutrients and minerals from vegetables, so it is best to cut them only when you're ready to cook or consume them. So that's all from me this time. I hope this has been helpful. Keep watching and if you like our content, do subscribe, like, share our channel. Until next time, Pranam. Online personalized diet charts from us, you can contact or WhatsApp plus nine one six three six six eight five two triple eight.